was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Welcome back guys. It's been uh, a couple months. Like, uh, took a short break over November and December. I did some driving. Justin did some work on the BMW. Uh, it runs now. It's registered and all that good stuff. Yeah, so November, uh, I did the final thrill of it. So I'll go ahead and show a couple clips of uh, that driving. So this is the Cressida. Uh, we drove it through November and December events, but at the December event, I went off course and that was the end of my day. I'll show you why. If you look right here, or let's look up the good side. If you look right here, this frame rail is fairly straight, right? And on this side, uh, it's not so straight. And uh, what tipped me off was that my fender wasn't bolted straight because the fender holes are now like, wonky they're not straight in straight line and so my door was hitting my fender uh it wasn't until i got home and took off the fender that i saw this damage and uh, it looks like this sh strut tower got pushed in because now it's uh very close to the brake master whereas before i could probably stick a finger or two between this gap right here so the strut tower got pushed in this way and i believe it also went up let's see that side like looks a little higher than the other. Uh, the suspension damage that I uh, that happened was this is like my tie rod extension, and you can see how much it got bent. So that wasn't a uh, I couldn't drive it at the track because I didn't have a spare one of these. But now I bought like 30 of these bolts, and I can cut and make a bunch of these. So I'll have a spare one of these in my track bag next time around. 
Um, we went ahead and got it all fixed up. I also refreshed the ball joints and the tie rods, but uh, one issue is that my coilover tube is bent so it actually adds camber. So with this top hat at full positive and that one at almost full negative, I still have like three more degrees camber on this side, even when the toe is, uh, you know, aligned or I use toe plates to get both sides kind of equal. The side's still off by like three degrees with uh, as much camber as I could take out. So, um, you know, that's the bad news. I'm not sure what to do with it. Uh, it's bent and I don't think it's something that we can easily pull out. So yeah, today we're in the truck again, you know, the, the old faithful truck of, uh, you know, bad decisions. <laughs> uh, and we're on our way to uh, possibly pick up another Cressida. A few moments later. Justin's just checking the straps before we get back onto the freeway. It's leaking something, I don't know. There's no drain plug. <laughs> on, the, on the oil pan? Yeah, it's just a hole. Oh, oh okay. There it is. We got a white one this time. Was it a smart idea? They're, they're never smart right. ideas. <laughs> but, but, well, you want me to talk about your car? <laughs> All right. well, I mean, it's home now. It's in the driveway. This is uh, it's about as good as a 7M gets. These days. Yeah. But, you know, we're not using this one. This one's coming out. The other one's going back in. Uh, previous owner said he'd held on to this for eight years. Eight years now? No. Well, the, the place, it's 2012 is 2012, so let's say nine years. We'll give them benefit of the doubt this year. Uh, that's that's normal, right? No. Is it, it broken? Is broken, yeah. Oh, okay, I gotta swap mine. It's got coilovers. Yeah. I guess. The front end looks dope. It's got the Volvo lip. All the lights are there. Nothing's cracked. Dude, I've never seen a, a um, the the metal lip that goes not where the Volvo yeah. lip is, but I've never had a straight one before. So I might like rock this lip for like two weeks. <laughs> uh, it's got Megan coilovers. Oh, we haven't taken off the wheels. It's got slotted and drilled rotors. You can see that. I'm not sure if that will do anything. Even the rears have them too. Uh, leather. Got a box full of stuff in the back. I got an intercooler, you know. But it, it's aerodynamic. <laughs> it's got a little kick to it. What did you say these lines were? Uh, AC lines? Those look like trans lines. Oh, oh. auto trans lines, I don't right? Want that. Is this a rack? Uh, yes. He gave me an X7 rack. Oh, sick. Because yeah. you love them so much. <laughs> Still got the factory tire. Look at that. It's like our all original. Interior's not too bad. I'm not actually stoked for the leather. Wish the passenger seat was good, but um, I found the thrash money. seats coming. We're making money. Yeah, I know. I saw some nuts and bolts in here too. You got 70 cents over here. We're ahead. The back looks all right. For class. The head liners. Looks good. Supposedly the sunroof still works, even though it hasn't worked in eight years. But uh, see when I power it up. This is bad, so I might have to replace the door. I wonder if this door system will separate. Oh, uh, maybe we should just swap that door. I might just end with my driver door. But my driver door isn't bad. I think I have like one ding in it, so. And I have I have a clean one. Yeah, yeah I got the leather door cards, too. Uh, the dash is cracked, so I might swap my my current dash for this one. But I also have the Moon moon Eyes dash cover, so we'll see what happens. Interior looks good. It already has a W58 in it, so 
uh, before the guy blew the head gasket, it was a swapped uh, from auto. That's the interior. He actually did a pretty job cleaning it up. It's not too bad. A couple stains, but nothing I can't clean. Fenders look good. All headlights and taillights look good. But yeah, so this will end up getting swapped. So that's about it for today's video. Uh, we got a new chassis, so we'll figure out, or we'll start planning and figuring out what needs to get swapped and what order, and then eventually this chassis will make it into the garage, and then my old Crested will come out to the driveway, so I can, uh, you know, figure out uh, what I want to keep and then uh, send it off to the junkyard. So that's it for today. Anything else, Justin? Just what's up with yours? Uh, it's still in the garage, doing nothing. Mm -hmm. The BMW has been a suck emotionally and financially. But it's registered and I'm driving right. it, so. Coilover's coming soon, so there's an episode. Uh, and, and then we just want to cruise it, make it look cool. And then we have the one UZ that we need to clean up. Yeah, it needs cleaning, my favorite thing, so. Cleaning. Okay, <laughs> well, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you guys later.